Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So what is a series, people? Your mainstream math professors and teachers are a bunch of morons and have never understood mathematics. Uh, you know, and it's really funny when they try to define things like series because they don't have a clue what a series is. So series is also a Greek word and it means in a row, okay? Things that can be lined up in a row, in, in a row or rows. So um, one, two, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is a series and it can be written as a partial sum. That 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is a partial sum. Another partial sum is plus 5. Another one is plus 6, okay? We don't say we don't say this is anything more than a series. Okay. Now pay attention. We do the same thing with a half, a quarter, an eighth, sixteenth, one thirty-two, one sixty-fourth, etc. Okay. Doesn't matter. This is also a series. Now, the fact that a series can be extended means it has a general term, right? So as I've just shown you, I've extended both these two series here. See, this series and this series. And I can extend them as far as I'm able to. And again, I don't call them infinite series because they're not. There's no such thing as an infinite series, and you shouldn't use that word. It's absolute garbage. You should take it right out of your vocabulary. It doesn't belong in mathematics. It doesn't belong anywhere in science. It's absolute nonsense. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. When an nth partial sum converges, we say it has a limit. We, meaning I, John Gabriel, not your mainstream professors. They're a bunch of fucking morons. When an nth partial sum converges, we say it has a limit. Now, when you write the sigma sign like that, you can say from k equals 1, x. You don't have to put anything up there if you're not looking at any particular partial sum. Okay, so if you're looking at a partial sum, you'll say, let's say, to 8. And this means 1 plus 2 plus dot, dot, dot to 8. Okay? But otherwise, you just leave this top index uh, out. There's no such thing as, there's no such thing as this. This BS that you see often in your math textbooks and that your moronic professors tell you. There's no such thing as this. That's absolute nonsense, okay? Nonsense. You can't have any sum to infinity. It's absolute nonsense. I repeat that. Nonsense. So when a partial, partial and sum converges, it has a limit, okay? For example, this series. When this converges, what is the limit? 1. Easy to find too, isn't it? You use this abbreviated formula where R is a common ratio. So if A is 1, okay, is a half. If A is a half and R is a half, then it turns out that the limit is 1. But you're not actually adding up anything here. Do you understand, morons? You're not doing any addition and you're not doing anything with infinity. Don't use the word infinity. Throw it out. It came from absolute morons, and it was cemented by absolute morons, such as George Cantor, uh, Isaac Newton, and all those idiots who came before me and didn't know what they were talking about. Okay, so I'm telling you right now, infinity is a garbage concept. Toss it out, don't use it. And as you can see, in this whole video, I didn't use infinite, indefinite, or any other shady terminology. I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel. If you're not a rare subscriber, become a subscriber to my channel. Follow me on academia.edu, and I'll be chatting again with you soon. Goodbye.